And that'll pretty much be the round done and dusted. Siren will be lucky if he can even get a kill here. Oh, maybe I spoke oh. too soon. They've looked away. What can he do now? AK! Oh. Oh, Hang on a minute. Siren the young gun. Two isolated aim duels on offer. This would be a magnificent clutch. No way. Get it. A 1v5 for Siren. Holding on to the nade. It started with the USP. Can it finish with an AK? Oh, oh. not quite. Ali saves the day. But that would have been a bloody moment. Nice try, NT. Sigh of relief and nervous smiles for complexity. That was meant to be an easy peasy round. Was it no head armor for Hallzerk maybe? No, he was already tagged up earlier in the round. Yeah. So it was just a one tap. Oh first. man. Credit where it's too. There was more than enough to get him an AK. They're oh. pushing mid. They found yeah. some space. Through the smoke, they have no info. Oh. oh dear. Oh, twists. Controls the spray. He brings has the, the fight. He doesn't care. He just wants to take oh. it. Twists. Massacres ends to keep the sheet clean. It's beautiful. 12. What a way from the semi finals. And that's just the first half. Snappy, oh, 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 beheaded by Carrigan, Madden. Good trade, necessary trade, but twists. He's working into mid. Oh, and a dink, not good enough, Deha. He's gone. Puts us into a one on one. Madden, last seen on that B bomb site. Twist knows he's got the time. You get that bomb in. Something that was prevalent for Ents throughout that entire first map was lack of kits. Same to be said for Madden in this one on one. Oh, he just looked away! Twists! Catches him off guard! Madden will be mad about that one! And Madden started this round with such a proactive approach. Knew the pressure towards B, drops down out the window, takes the fight towards Dark, helps buffer the B bomb site. Left chasing Ghost as Twist plants the bomb, jumps up and catches him looking the wrong way. Way too easy. Nice one there from Mr. Van Delken, the Canadian. A lot of CTs over here. This is a stacked site. Not much util though from Betboom to keep them at bay, but it's going to be fast from Complexity and maybe faster from Betboom. Danis can't lock anything down. There's still another player on this site though. It's really on to Kyron to make the difference right now. The smoke is going to be put down and he's going to creep past it. Oh, oh, Kyron! There you go. And it's all Turk in the one-on-one. -on -one. It comes down to it again. Siren is stuck in the corner, wants to swing, but you're never going to win it that way. Complexity. They almost ran into the iceberg, but they've managed to negotiate it. It was a good call from Betboom. They were well set up for what Complexity was working with. They hit a really nice time to try to wrap in through Cheetah on lane side. It was a double kill for Nafani on the MP9 peak to gather a lot of information and make that boom feel safe about the fact that they stacked that site for complexity. All that util has connected this time around. Gonna blow the smoke open at heaven and Elyse has managed to creep his way out. That wasn't checked. Bomb plant going down and Elyse, he loses his life, but the trades are certainly coming through thick and fast from complexity. Nafani's still trying to make his way into the site. So right now, it is Kyron holding the line against these four complexity members. He's going to have the backup for a moment, but he's only good for one, and now it's on to Nafani. 4 and 11, wants to improve upon Ooh. that, and he does! Oh, Nafani! Hello! There we go! They're back in it. It's put a lot of pressure on Complexity's economy now. Undoubtedly, the double eco, they'll go into their force fight. But it's got to be more than clutches from Bet Boom on this T side if they're going to win this game of Anubis. Big one from Nafani for sure. But they get three through heaven. A HE to start it off and they've got a lot of util on Madden. In they come. Good damage. It's Brokey that connects to put it on to Madden. But Diha first blood. Twist no more. Snappy puts Carrigan on the floor. Bomb is ticking. Diha's hunting. Can't seem to find the bullets. He's reloaded in front of him. War of attrition for Robs. And with Brokey's help, it's a one versus oh. two. Nuts jumps down from the rafters.
and Enz will take the pistol. Okay, well a moment's pause before that one got underway and some fluff shots right there. No kit on the retake and they will handle business. And uh, well, talking to Snappy about this team, he thinks Sampias is the type of individual who gets the buff on the stage. Being an AWP up, in the current iteration, we'll have to see just how that unfolds. And Deha is another one we need to keep our eyes on as far as stage matches are concerned. Good round from Nerds here. He's another one who really enjoys the spotlight and the moment. And that is the best way for Enz to kick things off. Madden, bit of a talisman for this team in terms of his attitude. On into A, and this will be another real test for Vet Boom. Smokes everywhere, flashes over the top. Siren is at least able to salvage, but he's under so much pressure. They've got nowhere to go. They're all stuck. And complexity rinsing them on this A side entry. It's just Danists left alive. And of course, he has managed to make it across. The timing on the smoke fade is good. But he needs to get this kill onto Elysian, and then has to worry about JT as well. This could be the turning point for Bet Boom. If Danists can win this round, the newest player in this roster. And he oh. steps up in a big way. Three on one, Pilski, and that's finally something for Bet Boom to get excited about. We know they're a bit of a momentum based team. Kyron, especially, you saw him right there on the player cams. He was getting pumped up. The least experienced player in the server here, coming up with a big 1v3 on the stage. Lovely stuff, but only one gun surviving. Got that AK in hand, look for those headshots, or maybe don't even worry about it. Nafany dealt with Grim, two on the entry so far. It's all going the way of complexity until Siren can strike. Paul Zerk into CT, will catch another. And so far, got to be questioned as to what's going on here for Betfu. Siren and Kyron to try to save the day against JT, Ooh. who steps up. One more required, and he'll get it. Complexity win the first gun round as well. 3-0 the scoreline in the quarterfinal of IAM Sydney. Just continuing to front run on that T side is the name of the game. I think one of the big things that we have to sort of question here going into this game is Betboom's experience on stages like this. Obviously, they've said that they're quite a fresh team when we look at their IEM playoffs experiences there. Nafany, obviously, he's been around the block, but for the rest of the guys, there isn't quite as much experience as what you have, maybe. At least got enough to keep Paul Zerk at bay, but where does he go from here? Paul Zerk's already on the line, so he knows that he hasn't crossed back in toward Temple or on toward the site, which really leaves only one spot for Danis to be. Smoke and a kit, and there's a nade on Danis. He could nade that smoke open if they try to smoke defuse. Well, he needs to be aware of the push coming through. They know where he is. Let's see what Danis can do. He's going to have to line them both up. Smoke in onto his position, gets rid of Halzerk initially, and now it's problems! He's got it done again! This kid is so good in the clutch. Yeah, it's an interesting conversation, isn't it? That uh, smoke defuse discussion with the HE nade interaction now. Do you smoke the bomb? Do you smoke a main? Yeah. If he nades a main, maybe it's not as easy for him to, you know, get that kill onto the diffuser, but. If you smoke and you're sitting in that defuse, the nade comes in, you can't get away. You're tagged by the nade anyway. But either way, that 